the United States has the most powerful and biggest aircraft carriers in the world. A total fleet of 11 nuclear-powered carriers and these are 10 ships under Nimitz class and one Gerald R4 class. In today's video, we will compare these two vessels starting from overview. Gerald R. Ford is a supercarrier that is in service since 2017, being built to replace the USS Enterprise. The program cost is about $37.30 billion and the unit cost is $10.44 billion. Nimitz-class carrier has been in service since 1975 and the earlier versions of Nimitz-class were only $4.5 billion and now the cost of each vessel is about $8.5 billion. And now we come to size. The Gerald R. Ford has a total length of 337 meters, beam of 78 meters, and a draft of about 12 meters. On the other hand, Nimitz has a total length of 332.8 meters, beam of 76.8 meters, and a draft of 11.3 meters. Both vessels are nuclear-powered and can travel in unlimited range. They travel at speeds of about 30 knots and both of them have a displacement of over 100,000 tons. The average crew capacity of Gerald R. Ford is about 4,297 and 5,000 for Nimitz, although it can accommodate up to 6,000 if we include other crews such as air wing pilots. Gerald class ship can carry about 75 aircraft of various models, whereas Nimitz can carry up to 90 fixed and rotary wing aircraft. Now let's have a look at power. Gerald R. Ford is powered by two A1B series water-cooled nuclear reactor of unknown power output driving four shafts astern. Whereas Nimitz class is powered by two Westinghouse A4W nuclear reactors with four steam turbines developing 260,000 horsepower to four shafts. These ships are capable of operating continuously for over 20 years without refueling and are predicted to have a service life of over 50 years. Up next is armament. Gerald R. Ford's has similar armament with Nimitz class. It uses surface-to-air missiles such as RIM-162, ESSM launchers, rolling airframe missiles, Phalanx close-in weaponry system, and M2.50 caliber machine guns. Nimitz class's armaments include RIM-7 Sea Sparrow or NATO Sea Sparrow missiles and Phalanx CIWS or RIM-116 rolling airframe missiles. Now let's have a look at aircraft launch systems. Gerald R. Ford class uses Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System or EMALS and Advanced Resting Gear AAG to launch and stop aircraft. Nimitz class ship uses Catabar and STOVL arrangements to launch aircraft. And at last, we have the sensors and radars. An ANSPY-3 X-band multifunction radar and an ANSPY-4 S-band volume search radar is used in Gerald R. Ford. Designated together as dual-band radar or DBR initially developed for the Zumwalt class destroyers. The 10 Nimitz class ships have a wide range of sensors and radar system sensors and these include ANSPS-48E and ANSPS-49V5 air search radar, ANSPQ-9B target acquisition radar, ANSPN-46 air traffic control radars, ANSPN-43C air traffic control radar, ANSPN-41 landing aid radars, MK-91 NSSM guidance systems and MK-95 radars. And that, guys, was the comparison of the most powerful and biggest aircraft carriers in the world. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.